You have a question? You have a question? You got a question on the universe? Hello, Neil. Hey. Good to see you. Hey, what's on your mind? Your tie, where do you get it? Oh, well, I have many ties of the universe. Are you interested in just this one or in the whole ensemble? Let's start with this one. This one actually came from my home institution, the American Museum of Natural History. It's a cosmic tie. This is, I am a cosmic dude, <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> well, I have a cosmic question. Sure, what do you have? <laughs> I've been told that the universe may have as many as 11 dimensions, and we only know three. What do you think? Should I expect as many as 11 to show up? You should not think of your own life experience as the limiting factor on what is possible in the universe. Just because we live and work and breathe in three dimensions of space, one time dimension, there's no law written in the sky that requires that that be all the dimensions that exist in the universe itself. And when you want to fully understand how the universe works, we have to have the metal to say, the way I see the world may be incomplete. The way the world comes to my senses may fool me. I need methods and tools of science to decode the operations of nature. And I've got to be ready for nature to behave in ways that not only did I not expect, but may render my biological means of learning about the world obsolete. Wow, you've given me a lot to think about. I guess I'm being self-absorbed yes. in three dimensions. <laughs> we are all self-absorbed in our own three dimensions. And it's fortunately we have the tools to think outside of our three dimensional box. And we've got top people working on just that. Well, I'll think in terms of two dimensions and get a tie like yours. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for coming. Thank you, Good. Neil. Good to see you. <laughs>